Welcome to Office 365 Questions. My name is Elliot Munro. I work for the AusBiz Web Group on the Gold Coast of Australia. We are a Microsoft partner who specialise in cloud services for small to medium businesses. Let's have a look at the difference between OneDrive and OneDrive for Business. Let's start with regular OneDrive. OneDrive is a consumer cloud storage product that is free for every user with a Microsoft account. A Microsoft account is typically any Hotmail, Live.com or Outlook.com account, though it can also be any email address that you've signed up for a Microsoft account with. For instance, you can create a Microsoft account with your work email, your ISP's email or even your Gmail email. Microsoft accounts are free and they include 7 gigabytes of personal cloud file storage that is protected by your account username and password. This is called your OneDrive. If you need more storage, you can buy it through OneDrive.com or with an Office 365 Home Premium subscription. You can sync your OneDrive files with your computer using the OneDrive Desktop Sync tool as well as access them through the apps on Apple, Android and Windows devices or most web browsers. OneDrive also lets you create, edit and share Word, Excel, PowerPoint and OneNote documents from within the browser. This is called Office Online and it's free to use even if you don't have a copy of Office. OneDrive is a great service and it's pretty much the same as OneDrive for Business. The main difference between OneDrive and OneDrive for Business is that OneDrive for Business is not associated with your Microsoft account. Instead, it's attached to your Office 365 organizational account. OneDrive for Business is included in Office 365 subscriptions for businesses and it includes one terabyte of cloud storage per user. If your company uses Office 365 for work, you will likely have a OneDrive for Business account, though your OneDrive for Business login won't work with OneDrive applications or sync tools and you can't log into it at OneDrive.com, though you can access your OneDrive for Business through the browser by logging into your Office 365 account at portal.microsoftonline.com or with the OneDrive for Business apps on Apple, Android and Windows devices. One notable difference between OneDrive and OneDrive for Business is that the OneDrive for Business Sync client can also sync SharePoint libraries. In this capacity, the OneDrive for Business Sync client has replaced the older SharePoint workspace tool as a way of keeping local copies of your SharePoint libraries on your computer. In summary, OneDrive is for consumers and OneDrive for Business is included in Office 365 subscriptions for businesses. If you want to know more or have a question, you can leave a comment or make an inquiry on our website.